let me start off with this. If you haven't watched part one yet, you may watch it. This is hump day. It's clear that these camels are in good shape. Their plump humps tell you so. A healthy camel can store up to 80 pounds of fat in its hump. When they don't get much to eat, the hump sags and slumps, but it slowly fills back up again as the camel eats and rests and gets ready for another journey across the desert. Going to extremes! Animals adapt to the harsh climate no matter where they live. The harsher the environment, the more clever the adaptations spiked safely. The Gila woodpecker chooses an unlikely place to set up a house. Using its beak, the woodpecker digs into a cactus. The hole gives a woodpecker a safe, cool place to live and raise its young. Rain slicker. Life in Antarctica, the coldest place on Earth, is tough. Emperor penguins have overlapping fetters covered by a, a greasy protective coating. Wind and water can't get through. Water break. In the Kalahari Desert, water is hard to find. When it finds a pool or puddle, a Burchell's sand grouse will soak its chest fetters so it can carry the water home for it to drink. Dung dinner. In the Sahara Desert, the sacred scrub beetle rolls dung into balls. The beetle buries the dung ball and lays eggs in it. The young eat their way out. Yakety yak! The wild yak lives at high altitudes on the icy steppes plains of Asia. Like many mammals that live in cold regions, it has two layers of hair to protect itself from the bitter cold and an underlayer and a top coat. Onward and orca word. Orcas are dolphins, not whales, and they are fierce predators. Also known as killer whales, they hunt in deadly groups called pods. They eat fish, sharks, rays, seals, and even whales. Just like me, orcas have five digits inside their front flippers. These are similar to flip fingers. Orcas use their flippers to move in the direction they want. Swim, muddy, worry? Yes. Orcas enjoy playing in the water, but give them space. These are top hunters. The blowhole is used for breeding. Every dolphin breathes through a blowhole. The white eye spots above each eye are the white eye spots above each eye make the orca look more fearsome. A gray patch of color called a saddle is just behind the dorsal fin. Infobites. Orca, also called killer whale. Type of animal? Mammal. Home. All of the oceans of the world. Size. Orcas average 10,000 pounds. A little more than a small school bus weighs. The largest male ever seen was 32 feet long and weighed 22,000 pounds. The largest female measured 28 feet long and weighed more than 15,000 pounds. Wow. Baby faces. Aww. These youngsters have the cutest little baby faces. But the little guys and gals aren't just cute. They also have special talents. That's handy. Raccoons use their front paws like hands with long fingers. They can climb, grab food, and even open doorknobs to get, get into a house. Kids, babies, sometimes need to practice their skills. Upsy daisy bonaboo females look after their babies for at least five years or longer. The mothers teach their babies everything they will know need to know later in life, including how to have fun. Just like me, 
Young elephants love to play. They run around in groups and swim together. What do you like to do with your friends? Elephant walk. Did you know that elephants can be trained to follow a musical beat? The baby looks like it's moving and grooving. In the skies. How does an elephant hawk moth caterpillar survive to grow into a beautiful moth? Its tail looks like a second head with eye spots and can change its body shape to look bigger. This confuses and scares off the predator. High and low. Tree huggers, called feet, strong tails, and sticky toes allow tree dwellers to thrive. They find the best snacks, swing from the tree, and stay safe from predators. Acorn woodpecker, the koala, the we lemur tree frog, the tarsier, and the green tree python. And the red panda. Burrowers. Underground dens serve more than one purpose. They are cool hideouts on hot days. Plus, young animals are safe from predators in their underground homes. The aardvark. The cape ground swir squirrel. The mole. The desert tortoise. Oh, look. It's an... It's in its shell. The phoenix fox and the brown owl. Stately stash. Emperor tamarins are small monkeys that make a big statement. Scientists who first spotted them in 1907 thought they looked like an European emperor known for his impressive mustache. Both female and male tamarins have mustaches. Just like me. The parents work together as a family. With Termins, a dominant female leads the family. Males take care for the babies. Trend settler. Yes. Long mustaches like the Tamarins are unlikely to catch on anytime soon. The male's eyes can't see red or green. A female is able to see more colors, a big advantage when she's looking for ripe fruit. The long tail acts as an extra hand and is used to grip fruit and branches. Infobites. Name. Emperor Tamarin. Type of animal. Mammal. Name. Home. South America and Brazil. Bolivia and Peru. Size. Both males and females are about 10 inches tall and weigh 14 to 17 ounces. That's the size of a bottle of ketchup. And this is the range. It's wild out there. Wildlife researchers go out in nature too. They study how wild animals live. They learn about the animal's health, their habitats, and climate change. Spotted in the wild, how do you give a fast and fierce cheetah checkup? First, give it a calming shot, then study its lungs and measure its heartbeat. Noisy nest. Black brown albatrosses spend most of their lives at sea but they call the Falkland Islands home. About 60% of the world's population nests there. Many breeding sites are protected and researchers have tracked the population site and health. Sizing it up. The wildlife researcher measures the great iguana on the Caribbean island of Dominica. About one third of the world's iguana species species are endangered and many research helps with many conservations efforts the iguanas on a ruler nice and plump weight tells researchers about an animal's health but it's not easy to weigh a wild critter the researcher stands on a scale with, with a wriggly panda in its arms 
a colleague subtracts his weight from the to total to find out what the animal weighs. Staying alive. Self-defense is important to wild animals, especially if they are natural prey for other animals. Wild animals use many tricks to stay safe. Copycat. The California mountain king snake is not venomous, but the coral snake is. The king snake top looks like the coral snake bottom, so predators leave it alone. The self-defense trick is called mimicry. Playing possum. Have you ever heard the uh, expression playing possum? It means to be still and quiet without being noticed. Opossums have a special defense tactic. They pass out and appear to be dead when threatened. Fool you. The stick insect blends in with its surroundings by looking like a stick. This is called camouflage. Can't spot the two stick insects? They're not the only one. Predators eat bugs, not sticks, so they will leave the sticks untouched. Safety in numbers. Yellowtailed fusiliers protect themselves by schooling, traveling in tight packs. Hundreds or even thousands of fish move together like synchronized swimmers. Predators have trouble picking out just one fish to catch. Whose little baby is you? In the wild, some babies look exactly like small versions of their parents. Others look totally different. It takes time for babies to grow into the wild creatures we know. Adorable boar. Baby boars have light brown fur with cream and brown stripes. Their fur becomes dark brown like their parents. The males will grow large visible, visible tusks. Late bloomers. Swans are more are born with more like gray fuzzy ducklings than their elegant parents. It takes a year for the baby swans called cycnics to grow their beautiful white or black feathers. Transformers. The adult poison dart frog is brightly colored, but a warning sign to predators, but their baby doesn't look anything like them. The adults carry the young tadpoles on their backs, looking for a safe place for the youngsters to grow up. Hey, your kitty kitty. Adult mountain lion has a sleek, single colored coat. The spots help Camouflage the cubs called kittens. Look likes. Newborn hedgehogs have baby pink skin that covers their little spines. The skin falls off after a few hours, revealing about 100 to 2,000 to 200 spines. Adults can have 7,000 or more sharp spines. Jump to it. If you're an insect, watch out. Real jumping spiders see you, they hunt you, and when the moment is right, they jump on you. Then it's time to eat. These spiders don't build webs. They use their silk as a safety line in case they're, they miss their prey, but they rarely miss. Just like me. Male regal jumping spiders are noticed for their smooth dance moves. Do you dance? Like to dance too? Pet wordy? No. These little spiders are very gentle and can be coaxed from jump coaxed to jump from hand to hand. Fine hairs on the body and legs help the spider sense vibrations nearby. Like all spiders, this one has eight legs. The eight eyes are arranged in three rows. The eyes don't move, so the body shifts its the spider shifts its entire body to look around. Two body parts, front and back, are joined by a thin connecting strip. Info bites. Regal, regal jumping spider. Type of animal? Arachnid. Home. United States and West. Indies plus Easter Island. Size. Males are slightly less than one and a half inch long. 
Females are slightly more than one and a half inch long. That's about the size of a gummy bear. I see you. A red-eyed tree frog stays hidden so long that it has its eyes closed. When a predator comes too close, the frog's eyes pop open, startling it, the intruder and giving the frog just enough time to hop away. On the wild side, some animals make good pets, while some do well in zoos and aquariums where people can study and learn more about them. Others, animals, are just too wild to survive in captivity. Injury. The injury is the largest of all lemurs and one of the rarest. It communicates with special songs. It is an endangered species, but now it is protected. It lives in Madagascar. Great White Shark. In the ocean, the Great White Shark swims hundreds of miles a day. No tank is big enough for a Great White. It is actually, it, it will actually bump into the walls of the tank. A Great White shar Shark can't survive in an aquarium. Spot-winged parrotlet. This shy little parrot is happy only in its natural home in the f f rainforest of Peru, Ecuador, and Colombia in South America. There are fewer than 2,500 spot-winged parrotlets in the wild. Liberian mongoose. Only one Liberian mongoose has been ever kept in the zoo. A male lived in the Toronto Zoo for just a few years. The Liberian mongoose seemed only able to survive in its natural home in the African countries of Liberia and Ivory Coast. Narwhal. In the 1960s and 70s, aquariums tried to keep narwhals in captivity. The experiment was a big failure. Not a single narwhal survived. This whale has to wander free. Andean Mountain Cat. One of the rarest cats in the world, the Andean Mountain Cat, lives in the mountains of South America. More than 200 volunteers have been trained in spotting these cats, and yet only a, about 10 cats have been seen in the past 25 years. Back from the brink. Many factors can hurt wild animals. People sometimes can take over too much of the land where wild animals live, or they hunt too many animals. With care and effort, people can save endangered animals from extinction. Sure-footed, black-footed ferrets once lived all over North American prairies. Humans took over the, their habitat, so these ferrets came close to extinction. Scientists bred the last few animals in captivity and released the younger youngsters into the wild. A blue street. A single female, Old Blue, brought back the Chatham Islands Black Rob Robin. In 1980, there were only five of these birds left. Old Blue was the only female. Most black robins live about four years. Old Blue survived 14 years, laying clutch after clutch of eggs. All 250 robins alive today are descended from her. We're back. In 1960, there were only 300 gray wolves living in the wild in the United States. All of them lived in one wooded area around the Great Lakes. The population of the of gray wolves are are now more than 4,000. Many of these creatures were reintroduced to areas that had not seen a gray wolf in years. Food fight. The island night lizard was almost wiped out when humans brought pigs and goats to the California islands where the lizard lives. The pigs and goats ate up local plants, so there was not enough food for the lizards. Semi-wild cats also hunted the lizards. Conservationists re reduced the number of plant eaters and removed the cats. They ate 21 million lizards from the islands. Working together. Thanks to an international breeding program, the golden lion tamarind was saved from extinction. Fewer than 400 survivors found 
were found in a Brazilian forest in the 1970s, but about 1,500 live in the wild today. And that is the end of the story. Thanks for watching this video. Bye!